Hey all of you awesome environmental science kids. Let's talk about density dependent and independent factors. So first of all, what is population density? Population density is the number of organisms living in a specific area at a certain time. So if we were talking about in terms of cities in Georgia, I would say that Atlanta is very densely populated because there's so many people there. But the small town that I'm from, Sparta, uh, not so much. We're not very densely populated. I mean, guys, we don't even have a McDonald's. The struggle is real. Anyway, so we all know that living and non-living things affect population size, but because you guys are so intelligent and so in the know on hip environmental science lingo, you know these things as biotic and abiotic factors. So let's talk about density independent factors. These are going to be things and events that limit the size of a population regardless of the density of the population. And they're typically abiotic. So there'll be things like temperature, floods, and pollution. They're still going to wreak the same amount of havoc that they would if, if there were two people or if there were two million people. Or maybe it's not even people. Maybe it's corn plants. Who knows? And then we've got density dependent factors. And these are going to be factors where the effects on the population size are going to vary with that population density itself. So these are going to be things like competition, predation, and disease. Remember me guys telling you my pizza story? So remember, if I come home one night with one pizza for my husband and I to share, that's not such a big deal. There's half a pizza for each of us, or really in our house, there's like one slice for me and the rest of the pizza for my husband because he's a pizza fanatic. But regardless, we'll have pizza. It's fine. But let's say I come home one night and I've got one pizza and my husband has invited his whole entire family to our house, which by the way, that's like 30 plus people. We're gonna have a problem because there's gonna be a huge competition for who's gonna get pizza. And everyone loves pizza. I mean, so yeah, we'd, we'd have a problem. But anywho, I hope this video helps you better understand density dependent and independent factors. See you guys later.